What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back, I mean I'm actually back, and that most won't know but this past week I took a week off and had a mini family vacation. Before I went I basically prepped 15 videos for when I was away so you sexy bastards wouldn't miss me. Today I arrived back and I am straight back to making them videos. Now the week I have been away so much juicy info has been dropped. Most I will cover in this video but a separate video will be made talking about the Redricks and the slap in the face Bungie applied to everyone who grinded for it. Expect that rant video tomorrow. Today's video is about a massive Forsaken leak revealing many juicy bits so be warm people if you want to stay spoiler free I'd leave right now. And before we get into the video people if you would like to show your support to me and the channel hitting that like button truly helps out and I do appreciate that support. Also stay tuned until the very end of the video to find out about my monthly controller giveaway. So basically this leak was dropped over a week ago but because so much info was dropped within it people just swept it aside thinking it's just one of those everyday they leak someone just puts together and just throws out there but there was so much information on this I mean some people did believe it but after the recent TWAB confirmed a lot of this information in the leak regarding Gambit and so forth was actually legit the information is now considered factual and the source of this info being legit now the guy who leaked this and data mined the game is named Jinsa so full credit to this dude the link to this actual leak can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it all out so let's get into it people we're going to start with a raid the new raid is called the last wish and it will have a normal and prestige mode the raid boss is called do inkaru the eternal return now he does state he's not 100 percent sure about this but a lot of people are thinking it may be a ahamkara now that is a video we will probably cover later on in the week once we've got more information on it there will be something like a one-time challenge to finish the new raid within 24 hours after its first launch now i wonder what this challenge will be and if it is legit what will be the rewards can't wait to find out if that is legit people new strikes i will say excuse any spelling mistakes as this is just a basic copy and paste from his initial thread post there are at least four new strikes warden of nothing the hollowed layer the corrupted and the broodhold now it's believed the broodhold will be the ps exclusive strike but that hasn't been confirmed yet moving on to gambit gambit will have a ranking system called infamy similar to crucible you will unlock gear and ornaments while increasing your rank. Infamy can be resetted. The highest infamy rank seems to be a level 15. Hawthorne will have a new clan engram for Gambit. And it's this part of this leak which was confirmed to be legit, while well, some parts of it confirmed to be legit in the recent web. And it was actually this bit of information which led people to believe that the other information from this leak is also legit. But again, it hasn't been confirmed yet, so you still can take it with a pinch of salt. So moving on to Masterwork Cores. The weekly clan milestones let you receive a Masterwork Core. There is a chance of obtaining a Masterwork Core with a final boss. Masterwork Cores can be purchased. He goes on to state you don't know where from or for which currency. And I'm pretty sure something about these masterwork cores were mentioned in the TWAB too. Now I haven't actually read through the whole TWAB yet, as I mean I've not long arrived home and I've got a lot of catching up to do, so excuse me if I'm mistaken there. Moving on to the dungeon, there will be a dungeon called the Shattered Throne. Multiple activities will take place in this dungeon. At some other part of the game, we will receive an unpurified version of an armor set called Reverie Dawn, I believe that says, which we can purify through different activities in the Shattered Throne. Sounds epic. Pet's Revenge. Pet's Revenge return as a new NPC, probably at the Reef. Pet's Revenge offers special bounties with certain goals, such as completing them all within one week. Clan focus, a stronger focus on clan activities. Examples would be milestones, goals such as completing raids, strikes, nightfalls, crucible matches, escalating protocols, etc, etc together. Some of them even require a full 6 player fire team such as a completion of Last Wish which is a new raid. Playing with clan mates can grant special buffs in certain activities. For an example, increased recovery, resilience and mobility. The Ace of Spades. There is a mission where we will have to reclaim the Ace of Spades back from Aldrin. Once reclaimed it will first be a broken version and we have to repair it through a longer quest series of several steps in multiple activities. That sounds pretty damn cool. The Prison Escapees. We will have to hunt down escapees of the Prison of Elders in multiple activities. Finding escapees in patrol zones, uh, other planets, in lost sectors and public events and so forth. Now this I do believe we know of. 
Collections. Collections will also include Destiny 1 achievements, console players only. Examples are completion of campaigns and raids, character transfer to D2, reaching the lighthouse, triumphs, and getting more score. Collection of specific weapons such as the Fawn, the Last Word, and the Galahorn. Sounds epic, can't wait to see more on that. Cosmetics, new ghost shapes, pyramid triangle like shapes, something looking similar to an override frequency, fallen themed, a taken themed sparrow. Now, while I like this, can be found linked within the video description, which we'll talk about in a second. Moving on to the story. He states the last part, probably the most interesting for most of you, is a very rough summary and I'm not 100% certain here but the following is what I got from the story. Aldrin thinks his sister Queen Mara is still alive. He thinks she is trapped by the Tekken Eolin in the Dreaming City. In order to save her, she is telling him in his visions to open the gates to the Dreaming City. He somehow allies with their prisoners in the prison of elders in order to achieve his goal. While trying to regain control of the prison alongside with Pretch of Range, K6 dies. After Aldrin succeeds in opening the gate to Dream City, he immediately gets killed by a creature and the gates remain open. It is now Pretch of Range's duty to protect the city in which all the walking secrets and treasures are kept and we will help her with that, he states. Now this is seriously interesting. Aldrin, after he opens his gates, immediately gets killed by a giant creature. Wow! Now if you guys remember a Game Informer article when they speak about this actual battle with Aldrin and it ends with him getting basically a call to the Dreaming City and that's when we go there. Something calls to him to go there they state. Maybe actually this is what they're talking about. And as soon as he opens them gates, he gets chomped by whatever, well we probably will be the red boss. Which has to be confirmed, I'm obviously just speculating here. But yes people, there are plenty of spoilers right here. And it is important to remember, like I said earlier, take it with a pinch of salt. Even though what he spoke about on Gambit days before the trial was released ended up being true. I actually believe this to be true or most of it to be true. But we will see people, we will see. Now we have some leaked images of some of the loot this guy has posted. Which like I mentioned earlier can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. It shows a variety of balls, four to be precise. It shows the exotic black talon sword, the 1000 voices exotic, some of the Gambi icons and six super unique looking ghosts and I mean super super unique looking ghosts so check them out within the video description people now before we end the video we also replied to someone asking about the Queen Breaker's bow the epic also beautiful Destiny 1 Prison of Elders exotic now the Queen Breaker's bow in the game now you'd think would be a linear fusion but he states it's coming back as a fusion rifle when replying to somebody asking about it which is its class in D1 now I think it may be classed as a fusion when it comes back as it's going to be an energy weapon maybe equipable in the primary slot also and not being a power weapon like you'd expect it to be. Also if the Queen Breakers is coming back surely the Dregs Promise and the Lord of Wolves will be returning too. The Lord of Wolves was a fan favourite for sure the Dregs Promise was utterly a crap. Simple as that. But yeah we know the Prison of Elders is much associated with this Forsaken DLC so why not have those unique exotics return with it? We will see people we will see. But yeah guys if true a lot of what we are getting with Forsaken sounds epic and I do look forward to bringing you guys daily videos on this new content so subscribe if you are new around here. Also before we go guys every month I give away a fully customizable controller to be in with a chance of winning it. Simply make sure you are subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit guys. The controller will be sent anywhere in the world and it's for either Xbox or Playstation so good luck to everybody who enters. Also people I apologise about how tired I sound, I'm absolutely shattered. But I thought I'd get you guys a video out as soon as I arrive back home. So here it is. If you guys appreciate that and would like to show your support, do go ahead and smash that like button. I do appreciate it. I really do. But on that note, guys, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully, I will see you on that next one.